Aloha folks, Mark Major here in my studio, which I have dubbed the Action Figuratorium. And anyone out there who does toy photography, makes dioramas, or, um, you know, is into sort of cool displays, knows that you can find a lot of cool things at the Dollar Tree, the dollar store, as it were. And, uh, I go there about once a week, so I thought this might be kind of cool to do sort of a roundup of all the things that I've found that are, you know, kind of useful that you might find useful as well. And we're even going to look at some dollar store action figures too and see how they rate. So why don't you, uh, why don't you guys stick around? So over on the other stage, I, uh, I want to show you guys a few of the things that I've managed to pick up and see what you think as well. So first of all, uh, I actually first saw that somebody had discovered these, the Dollar Tree in the summer. I saw it on Iron Ken's channel and he saw it on someone else's channel. They're little, little pallets. Actually, I think that they're intended to be, um, uh, coasters, but they totally work for action figures. I wouldn't say that they're one twelfth. They're a little, a little bigger. They're like a one tenth. But you know, you could put crates on them and put them in the background. Uh, if you have a forklift, it'd be great to you know have this one of these on it. So um, this is a recommend if they still have them in stock in your local Dollar Tree. Now I put linseed oil on these that's kind of what I do to anything wood that I buy because I bought this can of linseed oil and man it takes forever to go through that thing so I'm trying to actually use it up so it doesn't go to waste and I use it on everything so there's these dogs which are great okay now let's move on a bit I want to show you guys this if you are hip to toy photography on Instagram then you've probably seen Empire Toy Works, okay? And the latest thing that he was doing was Empire Toy Works has this entire set that he builds um, of a, like a space station that gives you every sort of, you know, amalgamation of uh, action figures that can meet there. And one of the more recent things he's doing was he was building a pet store. And so he was buying some Playmobil kits in order to get, uh, I believe, pets. But if you were looking for a type of a hutch or some type of a little kennel or something to put pets in at the pet store. Well, they got one of these, the Dollar Tree. It's pink, which of course can be repainted, no big deal. Um, it does come with four pets. They're like little doggies or something in here. So if you think of that in terms of the value, this is not a bad dog to have. Anyways, I picked one of these up kind of just to show you, but who knows, I'll do something with it. You know, I did an entire series of rabbits and uh, rabbits need a, a cage called a hutch. We're gonna move on to this. Okay, this was also in the wood department. And you can see that this is not much. It's like one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood. A little screw that lets this thing flop up and down. You can see I still got the plastic on it. Anyways, it's like a little chalkboard, but it's kind of a, uh, you know, kind of like a frame where you could then take, you know, someone in a chef's outfit and, uh, and you could have them stand next to the sign and you can write memes on it. It's a lot of fun. So I recommend these and, uh, it will be getting the linseed oil treatment. All right, moving on. You all know that, uh, you can get paints at the dollar store and you're probably saying, okay, well, I knew that, but, um, but the paints there aren't very good. No, but they're buck twenty-five. And uh, so, if you do something like a wash, a wash is where you take like black, you add water to it, so it's real runny. And the idea is that when you brush it onto something, it goes in all the cracks. It fills up the cracks, and it's kind of like outlines. It's really cool to do, and it takes you know um, paint and water. And so, if you're into just making your own washes, why not pick up some black or some white? acrylic paints at the Dollar Tree 
Now you can also get brushes there too. And uh, I know what everyone says, well, the brushes aren't very good. No, they're not, but they're buck 25 and they're a variety and uh, you can use them for, uh, for a project. They'll, uh, they'll get you through one. They're not bad as far as the um, price point goes for these things. So look for cheap paints for when you need cheap paints, like doing washes, things like that. Big recommend. Okay, check this out. These are little uh, sort of one by one um, backgrounds. In fact, here, let me uh, zoom out a little bit, right? And, um, you know, they're actually 3D. I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually, the rocks are all are embossed or puffed out, right? So you get an actual uh, 3D sort of um, light catching background that you can use for action figures or a floor, which is why I bought three. I feel three is the minimum with which you could uh, make a floor and um, frame up a character and, and always have some kind of rock formation. They do not necessarily overlap uh, despite what they might tell you. And the because they're actually adhesive on the back of the bag that it comes in is when you take it out of the bag, that is actually also the back that keeps it uh, from being uh, sticky. So, um, so you can't just throw the bag away and keep these, but these definitely get a recommend if you are um, just need some kind of a generic rock background. For a buck 25, they, uh, and they're 3D, they will get you past the finish line. Okay, we're just about through this endless muck. Now we're gonna take a look at these action figures. So um, what I decided when I went in there to um, to look at, see what, what they had in the toy section. Uh, When I went in and looked in the toy section, right, I saw a whole bunch of these final faction figures and they just looked incredibly cheap in the package. However, however, I currently have a photo series I've launched where I have um, uh, the Black Cat, uh, Black Widow, and Mohawk the Storm. I think that's Secret Wars Storm. And so I thought, okay, these guys have some uh, 3.75 uh, female action figures who are dressed kind of in all black, like my guys. Maybe I need some more girls for the gang. Maybe I need some more um, uh, background characters or incidental characters who might fit in. So I got the two female ones. Um, there's one that looks kind of like the Storm and one that looks sort of like um, she's just sort of an angry space commander. And they're buck 25 each, so it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty low risk. I also decided that I should get a third thing and I ended up getting this weird uh, like ATV car that they can drive around on. So I thought that we would open these and just kind of compare them to the Marvel figures that sort of thing. They're, they're really not worth anything much more than that. Other than I like to say that, you know, they spent some time on the packaging. They look pretty good. It's not like usual bootlegs where it's just kind of weird random stuff. This actually feels like, you know, somebody in an air conditioned office uh, using InDesign or uh, Illustrator um, actually tried, tried to make something that they thought was passable and cool. Well, uh, we're not giving too much away. Okay, so it comes with a club. And uh, I want to say right out of the gate, these are five points of articulation. So all the limbs rotate and that's it. It's just a generic black body with, uh, with a gold painted coat and a club. I'll kind of put her next to the storm. Storm's got really small hands and feet, by the way. I don't know if any of you guys are into the 3.75 Marvel stuff, but uh, let me tell you.
All right, we've got light. Let's open the second one. You know, this is real girl power here. Oh man, she gets, uh, it's so they're cross swords, but they don't come apart. She just wears them. She just wears the swords on her back. And there's like a piece of hair stuck in it or else it's a string of plastic. Oh yeah, this is, this is far. She's got kind of that like, uh, kind of a, a Black Widow outfit on the sort of weird top. Let's see if we can get the Black Widow in here and make a full team. Well, there, uh, there is the dollar store toys next to the Marvel toys. And I don't know, as far as just display goes, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys think? Is it absolutely terrible or, or do they cut it? Could they be with the team? Okay, so this takes a little bit of assembly. I just took this thing out. Look, you get a chassis. You get this weirdo motor. Um, this, this lights or something. What else? Some wheels. I don't know. Should we build this? And these looks like the kind of things that might be kind of cool to paint. I think if we can just get wheels on this thing. All the wheels look the same, so there's no front and back. Uh, is there a how-to? How does this engine go? Yeah, so this dog is uh, came out of the package missing two pieces, the little side lights. As far as I can tell, uh, is there a gun that's supposed to go on top? If so, maybe uh, maybe I, I don't get that. No, I do not see the gun. And whoever is driving this... Um, they have a figure driving this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they have a character driving this and the character actually has legs that that bend so she can sit in the seat Whereas this figure does not unless it's all just an illusion Anyways, this is the fake Baroness. So that's just kind of the roundup of the most recent things I think you can kind of tell that you can find a few uh, sleepers in there There's always a few Kind of cool items that for a buck 25 are not bad those action figures are pretty terrible but at the end of the day you know they don't look they don't look any worse than those super seven guys um so you know um one last thing before we uh go don't forget there is an action figuratorium instagram account that puts all sorts of uh of uh cool picks out usually about an average of, of one one a day usually not more than that sometimes I take a day off you know that kind of thing but if you're out there on the platform and you're um, you're just looking for for picks of toys but you know you've just kind of seen everything you might want to check this one out so uh, with that I'll catch you guys on the next one